welcome to another segment of Edifying Moments. Um, we're at Life Construction Church where we're building the kingdom of God one life at a time. We're so excited to be here tonight. And tonight, we have a glow panel. What about that? Hey! hey glow's hey. in the house. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory, Karen. Loving, Loving. Overcoming, overcoming women. women. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Glory to God. So it, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit of, tonight about where our pastor, our man of God, what he's been sharing with us, uh, what our apostle Leroy Thompson Sr., uh, what he's been sharing over the airways, over Facebook, over YouTube, uh, talking about the fear of the Lord. Amen? Amen. And when we talk about the fear of the Lord, we want to know what does that really mean? What is the fear of the Lord? You know, it's not a scary fear. Mm -hmm. You know, all of us learn in, the, in our beginning times that, oh, if you say a lie, God going to strike you down. Mm -hmm. uh, we've learned so many different lies, a little white lies, a little lies about what is the fear of the Lord. So what we've been learning through our apostle, through our pastor, um, what is the fear of the Lord? We've been learning that it is an awe, a reverence. Um, a deep reverence, you yeah. know, it is uh, a surrender to the Father. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been learning uh, everything, how to submit, how to reverence God in such a way that um, we honor him. And we honor him with such a high regard and high esteem. And so that is a difference from being in a scary fear. Mm -hmm. um, we learn uh, through reading the word of God that the, the, the people of Israel... They knew of God acts, but they didn't know God's ways, you know. So we're learning God's ways, but we're learning how to honor, how to reverence him, how to fear him. So yeah. tonight, to the panel, we're going to just touch bases on some of the things we've learned during this time, during these yeah. several weeks. We've been teaching on this. Pastor's been teaching on this. Apostle, the whole LTMA, they've been teaching on the fear of the Lord. Yeah. And I'm tell, telling you, it's been fire. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. I'm Amen. excited. Amen. 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 So this Amen. is Miss Victoria Jackson. Hi. Hallelujah. <laughs> so you want to talk a little bit about what what? Has the teaching of fear in the Lord, what has it done for you or what have you learned? Uh, I'm lear I've learned a lot um, Amen. with fear in the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good thing. It's an awesome thing. Um, you know, people try to, uh, you know, turn it as if something bad. Like, oh, you're afraid. Or why, why, why be afraid? Uh, why, you know, praise a God that you fear? Fear is not... At all, it's learning how to love them, knowing who you are, um, you know, submitting to them, basically allowing him to be the head of your your life, you uh -huh, know, taking control uh -huh. of your life. You know, people, um, you know, don't understand that. What I did learn um, tonight was no matter how you explain to somebody uh, who does not fear the Lord, they're never going to understand. No matter uh -huh. how you try to explain, uh -huh. no matter how what you try to convince them if they do not have it in their hearts to fear it's the true. Lord, they're never going to relate to you. The fear of the Lord quickens your understanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quickens yes. your understanding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I've also learned that, you know, um, God will handle people for that, I ain't going to say, not necessarily mess, or maybe I should rephrase it. Um, but it people have to, people have to handle you a different way when you feel like Amen. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, relating back to like me thinking now since uh, my pastor has like put it in that perspective, you know, I am somebody that fear the Lord and when I watch the consequences of other people that have done something wrong to me, it's kinda of like a we don't mess with the child of God. And I just back have, up. Like, have like a just a, a kind of a revelation of your, you know, like you really cannot mess with the child of God. Uh -huh. You know, somebody that fears the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Well, Miss Tony's in the house. Glory to God. <laughs> I have I have been enjoying the series about the fear of the Lord, and I just want to say, learning what Pastor is bringing to us every week is also coinciding with what we're learning at uh, in school. Amen. And, so and what school do you attend, by the way? <laughs> Ever 
increasing word training center. Hey! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the fear of the Lord, what I've learned is that it's not just something you do one time and say, okay, I fear the Lord, I respect him, yes. But fear of the Lord is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's the way you live. It's the way you move. It's the way you treat other people. Mm -hmm. And it's also the way that you treat and the way that you serve God. Mm -hmm. And um, doing those things and fearing the Lord, it also is, um, it, it gives you access mm -hmm. to, uh, I wrote down a note that it gives you access to the secrets of the mysteries Ooh. of God. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have an inside track when yeah. you fear the Lord. Wow. Yeah. And uh, like Victoria was saying, um, when you fear the Lord, people have to handle you mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. And that brought to my mind, you should not, don't touch God's anointing. That's yes. right. You just can't, you yes. can't come to people of God who fear God any and every kind of way. Yes. And you know when someone fears the Lord, when they walk in, they carry a different covering. Mm -hmm. yes. It's something different about them. Mm -hmm. And we should be peculiar and set apart. We that's should right. not be like everybody else. Yes. That's right. the kids. Yes. Like that's right. Kids. Come on. Yes. Come on. We should be set apart. We yes. should be different. Yes. And, and, and I also learned that everyone else that wants to do what everybody else is doing and mm -hmm. they don't want to know the truth, what the fear of the Lord is, when you are telling them the truth and they don't know and don't understand, mm -hmm. they are fools. Mm. <laughs> and it's a okay. lot of people who have <laughs> the foolish mindset. Yes. So you do have to change your mind, yes. put on the mind of Christ, yes. and walk in the fear of the Lord. Oh, Amen. awesome. I could, oh, that, that was awesome. Good. Rich, yeah, rich. That was good. Well, we have Miss Summer good. in the house. Miss hey. Summer, glory hey. to God. Glory to God. <laughs> we were just here last um, week and we were, um, you know, talking about what our pastor had been discussing the past few weeks. And it's only getting richer and richer. Um, one thing, one of the, the amazing takeaways um, that pastor shared with us is that the fear of the Lord goes before everything. Right. So as believers, we say, oh, we love the Lord. You know, we trust the Lord and all of these things. But do you understand that fearing the Lord precedes that? Right. Mm. And so I believe also to piggyback off of um, Tony, it makes you different. Yes. yes it makes you, you pe peculiar because when you fear the Lord, you find favor. Mm -hmm. Right. And the Lord favors you and he honors that. Right. And so goodness and mercy follows you yes. in those ways. And so to fear the Lord is besides loving him is the best thing that you can do for your walk mm. for your relationship with him your intimacy with him because it puts mm. you ahead it um it harnesses a relationship with him mm. that you cannot have without having that reverence that love that yielding that submission to him because mm -hmm. you hear him clearer mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you're, there's no other position to be in than fearing the lord and loving him in that way it's, mm. uh, it's important to, uh, piggyback on what Summer said when uh, when you feel the Lord you're you're able to hear. Yeah. Mm. You're able to listen. Mm. Yep. And you know, people uh you know who blame God for certain things. Oh, why did he do this? Why did he do that? Or he made this happen. It wasn't if he didn't bring you in my life, you know, this would have happened. You know, they, they always find a way to blame God. Mm -hmm. But you have to realize that God is not to blame. Mm -hmm. You know, were you able to hear you know wow. what he has given to you or you know uh, the, you know did you or did you go to god you know for mm -hmm. help you know first mm -hmm. yeah. you know only people who fear them will be, are, are able to do that and yeah. you, if you don't fear them you know you get lost you're gonna get lost yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I, i'll say pastor said when i fear him i'll have a quick understanding yes Yes. So a yes, quick understanding, uh, that's John 6, 63. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll have a quick understanding. We'll, be, right. able to, we'll be able to understand when the word of God comes forth, when pastor is sharing the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we can sit there and scripture just goes shoo, right mm -hmm. over our head. Mm -hmm. It's like, what is he talking about? Because you haven't feared the Lord in any area of your life, you can't even hear what the man of God is saying. You can't even hear what the scripture is trying to get to you mm -hmm. because you don't have no reverence at all for God. 
No reverence. Um, when you don't have any reverence, he said, you don't have no wisdom. Mm. You can understand. Mm -hmm. You are a fool. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we're learning that wisdom only comes to us when we fear God. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're, we're learning. Um, he talked about, uh, I think it's Isaiah. It's our main scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6. Mm -hmm. He will be a sure foundation for your times, mm -hmm. a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. Yeah. You know, he would be a, a, a sure foundation uh, to the times in my life, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge in my life for Rhonda, for Bernard, for your family. Yeah. You know, when you, when you uh, talk about uh, the scripture, you have to begin to put your name in there in every place where there's talking about uh, a rich store of salvation, a rich store of wisdom, that Bernard and Rhonda will have a rich store of wisdom, a rich store of knowledge, mm -hmm. that, that that would be stored in me. Yeah. And um, a lot of times we take the scripture and we just let it go over our head. Oh, that was for Joshua. Or that was for Moses. Or that was for this one. But it is for me right now today, as I reverence and as I fear the Lord, I put myself in that place and I begin to speak that over myself Amen. because I honor and I fear God. Yes. Pastor said something, and you, are, you alluded to it tonight, about goodness and mercy. Mm -hmm. um, he said that Tuesday night. He said that if we follow the shepherd, mm -hmm. because if we follow the shepherd and we get right in the middle of goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy has our back. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if, if we, we have to stay focused on who am I following? Mm-hmm. Am I following what my friends say? Mm -hmm. And I, am I following what my great grandmother said about, yeah. oh, baby, you ain't got to do all that. It don't take all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just do this and you that. Are you in this hyper grace message to where I could just do anything? Mm -hmm. I think uh, this younger generation of the millenniums, <laughs> <laughs> they, they have heard this, the message of you could just do anything and just ask God for forgiveness. Well, there's no honor. Mm -hmm. And because there's no honor, people are missing it. Yeah. And not only are they missing it, they're checking out of here early. Yeah. Yes. Because there's no fear, there's no honor. And they wonder why they're just wandering around like the children of Israel, wandering mm. around and around. And they keep on facing the same thing at such a young age. Yeah. Where well, there's no reverence. There's no fear. There's mm -hmm. no honor. There's no awe. There's, there's nothing the way God taught us to be. His word, his scripture is absolute yeah and God said that he is a God that changes not so he is not going to take the scripture and and fit it in and allow you to just do anything just live a life of that that has no restraints and then talk about you honor and fear him mm -hmm. no we have to look at this word and follow the shepherd yeah. Jesus came and he presented the perfect example for each one of us to follow so we have to get in this word and begin to honor, trust, reverence. And when the church get back to reverence the Father, reverencing the Father, we're going to see a different change in this world. We're going to begin to see a different, uh, uh, the anointing will begin to flow. The yokes will be, begin to destroy. Then we're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you expecting miracle signs, and wonders to happen? Yes. Here today, yes. not, 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 not it was of the, the yes, yeah. not off in the future or not. That was for the book of Acts, they said. That was for when the Bible days. Mm -hmm. No, they said in the last days, mm -hmm. my, my children shall prophesy. We will lay hands on the sick. They will recover. You, we're going to pray in tongues. I mean, things are going to begin to happen like never before. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. We're going to see the dead raised. Mm -hmm. All of these things will take place when we reverence and fear the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. 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 He says when you, pastor said, when you walk in consistent reverence of the Lord, your conditions will be right. Ooh, say that again. When you walk in consistent reverence of the fear of the Lord, your conditions will be right. Oh, yes. my God. It's mm -hmm. just rich. That's, mm -hmm. just, that's so rich. Rich, mm -hmm. rich, 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 yeah, rich. It is. Yeah, it is. Right. I,
Oh, all your no, wants man. met. No, 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 that I desire to reverence God. Mm -hmm. I desire to fear him. I okay. desire to be in awe of him. Mm -hmm. Because he's not going to override my will. Mm -hmm. If I don't desire it, he's not going to force me or beat me over my head to, to, to walk in the ways of God. It's true. He's given me a free choice yeah. to reverence him and to honor him. I choose to honor God. What about yes, you? Yes, I choose, I choose the benefits. Yes. <laughs> the benefits of honoring the Lord. Yes. yes. Um, when you were saying um, about uh, walking in the fear of the Lord earlier uh, summer about the foundation, mm -hmm. uh, in my notes I had written down that the fear of the Lord is the platform and the foundation on which all issues in life flows. Mm. And you get wisdom, rest, understanding, might, knowledge, wise counsel, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. All of those things open up, open up your life to a higher realm in praise, worship, and mm. meditation and serving the Lord. The benefits. Mm. Yes. The benefits. Mm. Yes, indeed. That's good. Mm. A sure foundation. That's real good. A That's sure good. foundation. I think we read Psalms 112 last week that we'll be blessed beyond measure. Hey. Blessed beyond measure. Hallelujah. I want it. Well, well ladies, tonight. Yes, yeah, such an amazing moment. Any, any such, an ed, such an edifying moment. Yeah. Such an edifying <laughs> moment. Hey! <laughs> hey, sounds, sounds perfect for Glow, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, such a perfect time. And mm -hmm. I, I just thank God for our man of God, our pastor. Again, we thank God for our apostle. We thank God for the opportunity to share uh, on the fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we, we walk, walk by faith and not by sight. Life construction church building the kingdom of God. One life at a time.